everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me for Tea Time once again. Today, we have some stormy weather. Why? My throat is just not right. I don't know, guys. I think it's allergies, I hope. It's not Corona or something. Anyways, not feeling too good. Stormy weather definitely helps. It just feels good. Anyways, guys, today is going to be a Sony day, all right? Now, before I get into it, I wanna say that if you haven't went over to my website, jchristina.com, go check it out. I have a lot of products that I've invented over the years. If there's something that you like over there, pick it up. You can use promo code YT20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off everything that's in your shopping cart. Also, don't forget to download my ebook. I have an ebook out for a couple of years now. People are just loving it. If you haven't downloaded it yet, do so. You can go to jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. 10 tips at making sharper images. It's good for amateurs and professionals. Either which way, there's something for everyone. Go get it, it's free, all right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here. It's the end of the week, it's Friday, TGIF, guys, TGIF. So I was going through my feed last night to see what I was gonna talk about today, and I found something really interesting. It was an article over on F-Stoppers. If you haven't been over to that site, go check it out, fstoppers.com. They have a lot of great stuff over there. Um, Andy Day was the contributor or the author of the article and I want to give him credit for it. Anyways, he was talking about something that is really cool for a lot of you Sony people. And I think going forward, most of the manufacturers are going to do this. And what it has to do with is camera sensor, dirt, debris, dust, and whatnot on mirrorless cameras, okay? I've said this from the very beginning when they came out with mirrorless, I'm like, you know, these things are a hot mess. And they were the reason why I came out with the Aurora Camera Care cleaning products because DSLRs, they get dirty. All right, they absolutely get dirty, but there's a flippy that goes in there, which is your mirror, right? That is always in the way. Whereas the mirrorless do not. You know what, let me show you. Instead of talking about it all the time. So here is what, what do we got here? This is a 5D. So if we go ahead and turn this on, I don't know, let me see if you can see this. If it doesn't, you know, Canon wants to focus on my face. That's what Canon does, that's what it does well. So let me put that like that. Can you see inside there? I don't know. Let me go to menu system. I'm gonna to go to clean manually. This is how you would clean your sensor on a DSLR. All right, did you hear that lock up? Well, now you can see the sensor in there. Now normally with a DSLR, you cannot see the sensor. This is the way it normally is. You have your mirror in the way, you're, it's basically shuttered, okay? So this is a little bit better for keeping dust and debris out from the sensor. The sensor is an electronic part. And you know how electronics are, they're notorious for sucking in like a magnet, dust, debris, dirt, everything. And with the DSLR, even though they get dirty, they don't get as dirty as the mirrorless because the mirrorless is continuously open. So when you go and you change a lens out, your sensor is sitting there exposed and it's just sucking in stuff. And people have been complaining about that forever. A lot of the manufacturers are addressing this. Now Sony just addressed it with their A9 Mark II, their flagship. Not on any of the other ones, but in this one, they are, and hopefully this goes forward. So what they're doing is, is in firmware update 2.0, version 2.0, they're making it so that the shutter, the manual shutter closes whenever you pull off a lens, basically acting like that mirror in the DSLR to keep it shuttered so it's not sucking in that dust and debris. Now, will this eliminate all dust from getting to your sensor and debris and dirt and stuff? Absolutely not, but it will alleviate a little bit of it and every bit helps. Now, let me go ahead and jump into my screen here so you can see how to get there. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So if you go over to sony.com forward slash electronics slash support, you'll end up on this page. And up here where it says, welcome to Sony support, you wanna, in the model name, you want to go and put ILCE-9M2. All right, that basically stands for your A9 Mark II. Hit enter, then it brings up another screen that allows you to go to downloads, manuals, Q&A, whatever. We wanna to go to downloads. And once here, click on the 9M2 and it'll bring you into the download area for that specific camera. And as you can see here, we have a Windows version and a Mac version. Let's just go ahead and click Mac for now. 
And there it is. That is firmware update version 2.0. Let me scroll down a little bit so you can see what's in this. A couple of the benefits and improvements that they added is, of course, the high frequency flicker function also improves face eye priority in autofocus, which is very important. Also, it improves your remote camera function, which is good. But the most important thing out of all of this is right down here adds a function to close the shutter when you turn off the camera to prevent dust or debris from adhering to your image sensor when you change your lenses. That is the main thing that I wanted to highlight here. I think that is very important. Now, if you move down here, you can see how to do it, what you need to do before you start the actual process. The process actually takes about 15 minutes, so you wanna allow yourself time to do this. and. You can go through this whole process. I'm not gonna go through it with you, but you can go to this page and go download it for yourself. Now, to make it simple, I'm gonna put two URLs in the description as well as in the comment area. So you could just go directly in there and you don't have to go through all that if you wanna go and download this version update, all right? Now, I'm hoping, guys, I am hoping that all manufacturers start doing this on all mirrorless cameras because it's just a smart thing to do, all right? So as of right now, only their flagship, their A9 Mark II will have this functionality. But I'm gonna guess in the near future, they're gonna roll this out to all of their mirrorless cameras. I certainly hope so. This is just simply makes sense, right? You wanna be able to shutter your sensor when you're pulling off a lens. To not is just stupid, in my personal opinion. So I hope that not only they cover all their cameras with this firmware update, but all the other manufacturers just do the exact same thing. Because like I said, it just simply makes sense. Now I made that Aurora Camera Care lens cleaning as well as sensor cleaning product for cleaning your sensor because I thought it was just so important. Because in post-production, who wants to sit there and take out dots out of your sky because you have all of this debris and little spots and junk and dust on your sensor? It just makes for a lot of extra time. You don't want to do that. And now that we're quarantined basically and this whole corona thing is going on, it's a pretty good time to go and clean all of your sensors, right? So the products that I invented come in three different versions or three different types or sizes, sensor sizes. It comes with micro four thirds. You also have a APS-C version. And then finally you have a full frame version. So inside each one of those kits, you'll find these little packets. Now these are vacuum sealed, so they're 100% clean. You have a wet and you have a dry. Why is that? Well, we clean with the wet first and then we go over it with the dry to take off any type of residue that's left. That is the cleaning process. Some other companies out there, they do it where you have the swab and then you take that swab and then you have to go and drip a certain amount of drops on there and you don't know if it's the right amount of drops. Is it too much? Is it too little? Are you gonna scrape it? So the way I did it is they're pre-moistened. So you get the exact amount on that swab every single time in the wet. You go over with the wet and then you go over with the dry and you're done. So the reason they come with different sizes because obviously a micro four thirds or an APS-C or a full frame is gonna have a different size width sensor. This is a full frame, for example. So you go over it and it cleans the entire sensor in one stroke or two strokes, that's it. So very simple, very easy, and anyone can do it. I also have another three that are similar. But instead of looking like this, where you just see the sensor, you have a sensor and lens. So basically it comes with lens cleaners as well as sensor cleaner. Really good stuff. I made this, it took me about six months to produce and they work unbelievably well. Clean your sensor literally in a few minutes. All right, and you don't have to worry about this stuff in post-production and taking out little debris and dots in the sky and everywhere else. It's just kind of ridiculous. Anyways, so that's my product. If you want to go and pick them up, you can pick them up at B&H Photo Video. You can pick them up at Amazon.com or you can pick them up right now on my website, jchristina.com. Use that promo code that I told you about earlier, YT20. Just because you're a subscriber, you get 20% off everything um, that's on my store. So that's my product. Going forward, I really hope that all manufacturers start shuttering their sensor when a lens is taken off. Like I said, it just simply makes sense. I just think it was stupid the way they did it from the beginning, where you just leave it open and just 
God, you could just see the dust just suck in there like a magnet, right? Just, I don't get it. Sometimes I don't get it. You know, these companies are so smart and they're so stupid sometimes. Anyways, it's the simple things, right? The simple things. They say the devil's in the details. That is a major detail that was overlooked for many years. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. If you found it of any type of use or value, please throw me a big thumbs up. That is absolutely just loved, okay? It helps me, it helps the channel. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to slam that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon over here. So when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all those photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Don't forget to download that ebook over at jchristina.com forward slash ebook. jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Also, join our creative community, our Discord server, our creative Discord server over at community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. Join the hundreds and hundreds of people just like you, creatives, and have these conversations. They're brilliant over there. They're a hell of a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> Anyways, I am out of here for yet another vlog. Have a wonderful weekend. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.